Hi, this is Anil from Learning Lad Education and welcome to the What's the Output video series on C programming language. In this video series, we're gonna give you a C program and we're gonna ask you guys to guess the output of the program and then we're gonna explain the output. So all you guys need to do is pause this movie and take a look at the source code which is here in the editor and then guess the output of the program. Once you have an answer, just click on the play button, you know, I'm gonna run the program and explain the output. Alright. Now I believe that you guys have an answer for this program. We're gonna build and run this. So it's gonna be build and run. And the answer for this program is gonna be four A's in the first line, four N's in the second line, four I's in the third line, and four L's in the fourth line. Now, why the heck we're gonna get the output like this? Here in this program, we have this character array called S, and we have stored the string a n i l inside that character array. Now, remember that whenever we're gonna have an array, you know, the array name is gonna point to the base of that array, which is nothing but here in this case, this yes will point to the base of this character array a n i l. You know, it's nothing but this s will contain the address of the first element of this array. So, this s will point to the first element which is a and then we have this for loop and in this for loop we are looping through all the elements of this array yes all right then inside this for loop we have this printf statement and we are printing four characters here as i told you before this s is going to contain the base address of the array or you know the address to the first element of the array and here inside this for loop we are using this i as the loop counter variable and this i will contain the displacement or the index of the element which is nothing but for the first iteration this i will contain a value of zero and that's why you know here first you guys can see we are accessing the value by using the array name and the index here the i will contain a value of zero so it will point to the first element and then we are using this array name and the index and also we are using the value at operator here all these things are different ways of expressing the same idea which is nothing but you know all these things are gonna point to the same thing so for the first iteration all this will point to the first element and in the second iteration all this will point to the second element and for the third iteration you know all this point to the third element and like that so for the first iteration since we are printing four characters here and also all these are going to be pointing to the same element and now we're going to get a and for the second iteration you know all this are going to point to the second element of the array which is going to be n and for the third iteration it's going to be i and for the fourth iteration it's going to be l and that's why you know we're gonna get the output like this so this is it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel uh, check out my website learninglab.com for more tutorials and i'll see you in the next tutorial